Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for hanging out with me once again, and I really appreciate your support. Now, if you are absolutely new here, my name is Vanita, and I appreciate you stopping by the channel. Um, now, I hope that you decide to hang out with me for a while. I hope that you decide to click uh, like on this video and subscribe to this channel because we are going to have a wonderful time making this open top ski mask. I'm gonna go ahead and go over the materials that I'll be using today. Today I'm going to be using the Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn, and this is 100% acrylic in the color Autumn Stripe. And this skein is 252 yards, and I'll only be using um, like half of this skein, okay? So you only need one skein of this. And then the next one is also Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in the color Clover. And it's 100% acrylic as well. And you won't even need half of a skein of this, okay? Now, um, for the hook, I will be using a 6 millimeter crochet hook. And it's also a J10. I will be using a darning needle, and you can also use, they're interchangeable, but it's called a yarn needle also, and a pair of scissors, and stitch markers. Now, you don't have to actually have stitch markers. You can use a piece of yarn or a bobby pin, and this is also very optional. Um, this is a row counter, okay? It comes in really handy because there is a lot of repeat rows in this pattern. All right, so as far as the stitches that you will need to know, we will be making a chain, doing a single crochet stitch, double crochet, half double crochet, and the front post and back post double crochet stitches. Now, I know that may seem like a lot of stitches, but I promise you it is not. Um, I do have beginner crochet tutorials for each of those stitches on my channel and i am going to list them in the um description box for you okay so if you if you're not familiar with any of those you can always go um you know on my channel watch those practice them and come back and make um make the project today now also you all i ask that you please join my um facebook group for this channel it's also called lady v creations and creations is spelled with a k just like this channel um i would love to see your work and also you know those that complete the project um please post the pictures and you know, feel free to act, to help others that may have questions because I am only one person. I am unable to get around to everyone. So um, feel free to answer questions to, you know, those that are having questions about any of my projects um, from this channel. You know, I would love to see you all, you know, just go in and, um, you know, communicate and, you know, talk about, you know, the, the projects and, you know, really show your work and everything. Also, you all, there is timestamps in this video. So you don't, I don't want you to feel like you got to go back and watch everything all over. If you are crocheting along with me, there is timestamps. So you can please, you know, feel free to utilize those as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to chain 62. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to chain the rest off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I have completed my chain of 62. Um, once you complete your chain, you want to go back and just count it and make sure you have 62 because that is very important. Um, once you have that 62, you're going to put a single crochet stitch in the third chain space from the hook. Now this loop on your hook does not count. So you're going to count one, two, and then that's the third chain space. So I'm going to put a single crochet in there. So I'm just going to insert my hook. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. All right, so that's my first single crochet. And then I'm just going to go all the way down the chain. 
and I'm going to put single crochet stitches all the way down it's going to give me a total of 60 single crochet stitches once I have finished this chain all the way out. Um, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be looking like that with those single crochets on there. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the um, 60 single crochet stitches and I will be right back with you all. So um, I have completed putting one single crochet in each of my chain spaces. So the next thing you want to do is make sure you go ahead and count it because you should have 60 single crochet stitches once you finish. Then we're going to connect this, okay? So we're going to close this up. So we just go to the very end of that um, chain. And right here, and just make sure it's not twisted, but right here in that first single crochet, you're going to put in that first single crochet, you're going to put a slip stitch to connect the two, okay? So I'm just gonna do just that. I'm just gonna go all the way down, excuse me, all the way down, bring it back, and then I am just gonna turn it, making sure it's not twisted. Hold that there, and I'm gonna pick that up, and then right here in that single crochet space, I'm sorry, yes, in that single crochet space, I'm just gonna go under, pull through, pull through and then just pull through all right so I have connected now right here what you see at the bottom that's not going to be a problem because um we are going to connect that once we close um once we weave in this tail all right all right now that we have connected um you're going to chain one and then in that same space right there with that big opening, that same space, you're going to put a half double crochet stitch. All right, so that is your first half double crochet stitch. And then this is your, so you're gonna go in the next um, single crochet and put a half double crochet in that one. Now, if you want, um, you this is where you would go in to go back to that first half double crochet and put your stitch marker because this is such a short, stitch um it's not a tall stitch so you may want to put your stitch marker just so you'll know where you started putting your half double crochets now from there on you're just going to go all the way around and you're going to put half double crochet stitches all the way around all right so i'm going to go ahead and go all the way around <clears throat> excuse me i'm going to go ahead and go all the way around putting half double crochet stitches and i am going to meet you all right back to where that stitch marker is so i'll be right back all right guys so i am back around to the stitch marker which means i've completed the row so i'm going to go ahead and remove the stitch marker and that was row number two by the way so um i'm going to go ahead and put my slip stitch in to join this row all right and then we're going to chain one just like before and then we're gonna start row number three by putting in a half double crochet, just like the last row. And then we're just going to repeat what we did um, for the last row. We're just gonna um, put half double crochets all the way around. I'm gonna go back and put the stitch marker back in that first half double crochet so that I can know where to stop at and start a new row. So um, this is row number three, and you're just going to repeat this all the way around and you're gonna repeat it until you get to row number eight, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put half double crochets all the way around, and I'm going to do the repeat row until I get to row number eight. And then once I complete row number eight, I am going to catch back up with you all to show you all what we're going to do next. All right, so um, once you complete row number eight, this is what your project should be looking like. All right, and if you notice where you started, um, you have like an, a diagonal going right there where you uh, connect the rows, which I really like that because it doesn't give like this hard line uh, going or hard seam going up your project. So I really like the di diagonal. So what you're gonna do, once you have completed row number eight, for row number nine, you're gonna chain one, and for the next 20 stitches, you're going to put a half double crochet and you're going to put your first one right there where that, um, right in that same space where we put the chain one. So just one and we're just going to do 20 half double crochets. 
two, three. And you know, I like to go back and put my stitch marker in that very first. So one, two, three. So I like to put my stitch marker in that very first half double crochet so I can know. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do 20 and I'll be right back. All right, so I have put 20 half double crochets across starting here and going all the way across. I did 20 half double crochets. All right, now, now I'm about to create the opening for your ski mask. And what you're going to do next is you're going to count the next 20 stitches, okay? So you're going to start right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So for, the, for number 21, you're going to put a stitch marker. All right, because that's where you're going to be putting um, your next, you're going to be putting your next stitch. All right, now you're going to go back. After you've done that, you have your stitch marker there. You got a stitch marker over there. So now you're going to go back. You're going to chain 20. All right. Oops, I'm putting it in. All right. So we're going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, so that's your chain of twenty. All right, now you're going to go over to where your stitch marker is and you're going to put a half double crochet. You're going to keep your chain on your, on your, um, hook and you're just going to go right on and put a half double crochet right in that same stitch where your stitch marker is. All right, so you got your half double crochet going and you just got to put it in there. Boom. All right, so that um, that is there. So now you want to go in each stitch across and put half double crochets. Okay. Oops. It's acting crazy on me. There we go. Half double crochets. All right, so we're gonna go to each chain across and put half double crochets. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll meet you all back right here where my um, first stitch marker is. I have gotten back around to where we started. There's my first stitch marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch to join the row. All right, and that completes row number nine. So I'm gonna chain one. And now we're starting on row number 10. So all we're gonna be doing is in that same stitch, we're gonna go ahead and put a half double crochet. And then we're going to put one half double crochet, <clears throat> excuse me, in each stitch all the way around. All right. And I like to go ahead and put my stitch marker back at the very beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and put one half double crochet in each stitch around. When I get to this chain space, I'm going to come back and we're going to work some of that chain space together. Okay. All right. So I will meet you all at the chain space. All right, so I have gotten to where the chain um, started at. And as you can see, I still have that stitch marker in. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And that's just the stitch marker we had for the chain. All right, so right here where the chain is, the stitch is right there. That's the very, I don't know if I'm trying to make sure you all can see that. That's the very first um, chain space stitch. We're going to put a half double crochet in that space. Okay, and then we're just going to keep going, putting half double crochets in each one of those chains, all right, all the way across, and make sure it's not twisted, okay, we're not doing like the back loop thing, we're just going in the, and right there in the front of that chain, so just put one half double crochet in each of, each of those chains, all the way around. All right, and you see what it's looking like. So you're just gonna put one half double crochet in each one of those chains. All right, 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put one half double crochet in each one of those chains. And then I'm going to meet you all back once I finish the row. I'll put one in each chain and then one in each half double crochet all the way around. And then we'll meet back right here at the very beginning. All right, you all. So I have gotten back around to my stitch marker. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and do a slip stitch to join the row. All right, and that completes row number 10. Now, what you want to do is um, you're going to want to um, count all of your stitches all the way around. Now, this is what your project should be looking like in the back, and then this is what it should look like in the front, all right? So make sure you go ahead and count all of your stitches. Um, if you have any problems, it's probably those corners because sometimes they get really tight in the corners. So make sure you have all the stitches you should. Uh, you should have 60 half double crochet stitches there. All right, so now we are starting on row number 11. So for that row, you're going to chain one and then put your half double crochet stitch in that same stitch. And then you're going to just put one half double crochet stitch in every stitch um, as you go along. Now, row number 11 through 23 is um, all gonna have 60 stitches. So you're gonna um, do the same thing. That's what's called a re repeat row. So you're going to go from this row, row number 11, all the way to row number 23, putting one half double crochet stitch in each stitch. And do not forget to chain one when you first start the row. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will meet you all back at row number 23. All right, so now I am at the very end of row number 23, and I'm going to show you what your project should be looking like at this point. All right, so this is what you should have. Um, if you turn it around, this is the top, this is your opening, and we're working our way down okay so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it back around to where we're working and um so i'm like i said i'm at the end of row number 23 i've completed all the previous rows and so i am going to now i'm going to change colors so right before i close it up i'm going to take the stitch marker out and i'm going to close this I'm going to go ahead and start the slip stitch to close it. All right, so I go ahead and do that. All right, now normally I would go straight across to do a slip stitch, right? But I am going to go ahead and just close this up. So I'm going to get the other color. And I'm going to put that on there. And then I'm just going to bring it through. All right. And then I'm just going to go and do a knot back here just to change that color to the green all right and then i'm just gonna hold on to that and then back right there all right now i'm going to chain two one two all right and this is the beginning of row number 24. oops all right, so we're going to, now we've chained two, we're going to do a double crochet stitch in that same, same stitch there. All right, and just make sure you don't put your other color in there. So I'm doing a double crochet stitch, and if you want to, you can carry that yarn in the back. So that's your first double crochet. All right, and then I'm going to do another double crochet in the next um, stitch. All right, and this is with the new color. All right, so that's with the new color. So we're going to go all the way around and just do double crochet stitches all the way around. And you can carry your yarn if you would like. If not, you can weave it in later. Just know we're just going to do one double crochet stitch all the way around. And... um. Remember that this chain two does not count as anything and you should have 60 stitches at the end of this row number 24. So I am going to go ahead and just finish um, putting 
double crochet stitches in each of my half double crochet stitches and I will meet you all back um, at the end of the row. All right, so I have gotten to the end of the row. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch to close the row. And then um, now we're gonna start round 25. We're going to chain two. Now for this round, we're going to do the front post um, double crochet and the back post. And we're going to do them in sets of two. So um, the first double crochet stitch we're going to do a front post double crochet so we won't be in that one we're going to go in that one right there okay so we're gonna do our first front post all right and then we're gonna do another one all right in the next double crochet and now we're going to do two back posts Okay, and then I'm going to do another one. Like I said, we're going to do two back posts as well. All right, and that's how this round is going to go. You're going to be doing front posts, double crochet um, in sets of two, and then back posts, double crochet. And you'll just go all the way around doing front posts, back posts. And you should end with um, 60 stitches at the end of this round 25 so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the round and i'll meet you all back all right guys so i've gotten to the end of the row and i have slip stitch to close the row so this is what um after you did your first row of front post and back post double crochet this is what your project should be looking like okay so that's what the front post back post um are going to do now you should have ended on two back post double crochet stitches. And then that right there is your um, chain two. And then that's where you started with the two front posts. All right, so now you are going to continue on with that because that is your repeat row. All right, so you're gonna continue on and you're going to do 11 more rows. If you want your project to turn out just like mine, you'll do 11 more rows. Now, you may not want yours to be as long as mine's, um, or you may, you know, want it to be even longer. So, that's totally up to you, all right? But I'm going to do 11 more, and all I'm going to do is just chain two. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do a front post right in here. All right, then I'll do another front post in the next one just like the previous row. And then I will go here to do my back post, my sets of back posts, all right? So I'll go right here, okay? And then right there for my back post. And I'm just gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna do 11 rows, all right? So I did that one, this one, um, I'm just gonna do this one and a total of 11 more rows, okay? So at the end, I will have done uh, I will be on row number 36 when I get back to you guys. So when I come back, I'll be at row number 36. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish that, and then I'll be right back to show you all what um, you should be looking like. All right, so I have gotten to the end of this last back post, front post, double crochet row. I'm going to go ahead. I did that last one. Go ahead and do a slip stitch to end the round. And that is complete. So once you complete all of those, then you have completed your project. And all you need to do now is weave in your ends. Uh, I'm sorry, you need to cut your, go ahead and cut, um, cut your yarn. And then uh, weave in your ends, all right? And then this is the very top um, where we had that uh, when we were, when I was showing you all that row. So I'm going to go ahead and weave that one in with you all. Because remember, I was saying that, um, you know, you'll be able to see how that works out. So I'm going to go ahead and weave that in with you all. All right. So with that, I just like to just go in and out, in and out, in and out. And weave that in. Just hold that a little bit in one way. And see, as you can see, it, it does close up. I don't want to put it too tight. And then I'm just going to go ahead and 
weave it back in the other way. And I'm going to go through the yarn a little bit. Hope you all can see that. And then I just weave that in. And then I'm just going to weave in one more time. Going in the opposite direction. So you just want to go in the opposite direction. Going in and out, in and out. All right. All right. And since this is a little loose up here, I'm going to go one more time. Normally, I only do three. I'm just going to go one more time because I really want to make sure that it is nice and snug. And I want to go in and out. I'm just going to go a little bit in between that yarn there. All right. And there we go. And so you just go ahead and snip the rest of that end off. And that's that. All right. So that is what your project is going to look like. And all I have to do here is go ahead and snip this off. So I'm going to snip that. And then all I have to do is weave that in. And that's it. I cut that a little short, but that's okay. I can weave it in. It's no problem. And that is pretty much it, you all. So... If you all uh, uh, found any value in this tutorial today, please um, click like and subscribe to my channel. All right. And then you can definitely go down below and comment. Um, you know, just let me know how everything worked out for you. And also, please don't forget about the um, Facebook group that this channel has. I have this called um, Lady B Creations. And Creations is with a K, just like the name of the channel. So please go ahead and... Um, um, join the group and just let us see your see your project and um, you know if you have any questions and um, you know we all the members in the group can help answer any questions that you have and I would love to see your um, open top ski mask and just see you know how you uh, what colors you use and you know all of those things so thank you all so very much for making this um tutorial for um going along with me with this tutorial i really appreciate it and i will see you all soon bye